Let's say you can hold the shoulder stand long enough that you get bored. In this case, wait no longer because in this video I'm going to share plenty of ideas of what to try next. All of this is intended for the rodeo line, even though you could also do them on a high line. The first part is going to be about static shoulder stand variations and the second part is going to be about dynamic movements starting or ending in shoulder. The first thing you can try, and you can try it pretty soon after being solid in shoulder stands, is to let go of one hand. It's slightly more natural to let go of the hand closer to the shoulder, but I suggest you try both. In addition to playing around with the hands, you can also play around with the legs. There are no real limits to your imagination, but the things that came to my mind was to try to reach with your hand for your toes, or to try to reach with the legs for the lion, or to fold the legs, but you can really try anything. There's one leg position in particular that people find attractive enough that it got its own name, stick shoulder. For this one, you do the shoulder stand with only one hand and use the hand next to the shoulder to balance. Then move your legs up and keep them close together. A note of warning here. As you move your center of gravity quite higher, this position is really more challenging and it will probably take quite some practice until you can hold it as long as you want. You can approach it in at least two ways. Either you put your legs together and you try to hold it until you cannot hold the balance anymore and you fall to one side, or you put the legs together for a short moment and then go back to normal shoulder stand and then you try to hold the stick position a little longer each time you do it. A different rabbit hole to go down would be no hand shoulder. As the name suggests, this is about releasing not only one hand, which is quite quick to land, but releasing both hands, which is much harder to land. You also start with only one hand at the line and then you slowly let go of the second hand. At the beginning, you might not want to remove the hand completely, but you can start by just shifting the weight by putting your arm down and then releasing the hand and then slowly moving it away. You have to relearn a bit how to balance that way and don't worry if it takes a while, that's completely normal. One last hint on no hand shoulder stands. I re-grab as soon as I start to fall because the falls are more controlled that way. The last suggestion for static shoulder stand variations is not a creative one, to use the second shoulder. It shouldn't be a surprise that it works just the same as the first shoulder and you will be much quicker to learn it because you can transfer your already acquired upside down balancing skills. Unfortunately, the shoulder pain is something you have to go through anew. Now that we looked at static variations of shoulder stands, let's look at some dynamic tricks involving shoulder stands. The easiest one is probably half front rolls. You start in shoulder stand, you push yourself away from the line with your hands to initiate a forward roll and land in Korean. You just have to trust it, push really away, and then you will land it within a few tries. Next, you can try the opposite. Start by lying with your back on the line, slightly tilted so that your shoulder stand shoulder is also on the line, followed by the same hand, followed by the other hand. Then move your legs up and pull yourself with the arms on the shoulder. Then push with the arms to stop the motion in shoulder stand. The start is the same as for a back roll, but you stop halfway, so it's a half back roll. This is not easy, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't work out right away. And my last suggestion for you is to try to surf in shoulder. For that, I start in chest and get some surf, and then at one of the turning points of the surf, I press myself up to shoulder, and then you can either enjoy the surf or try to actively maintain it. That's it. Today I showed you plenty of things that you can try when you know how to do shoulder stands. I promise you won't be bored for a while with or without Highland. And stay tuned for my next video, it's gonna be about bouncing in shoulder stands and kamikaze. See you then and thanks for watching.